finished walking the property and then I was up here pushing some of this water out and uh, notice see that white spot there. I went through and spray painted. I kept seeing it leaking from the ceiling, which is not good because everything is already sheeted and sealed up. There's one, there's one over there. So uh, this side that I did uh, a couple weeks ago, two weeks ago I guess, is there's no leaks in that one at all. This side had, which I just finished a couple days ago, oh, probably half a dozen at least, six or seven. And um, when I put that on and I taped it, it had started to rain. Not much, it was just a little kind of a heavy sprinkle, I would probably say. And um, I'd already started taping, so I just went ahead and kept on taping. And so I believe what happened, on there, on there, on there, I believe what happened is that tape did not stick. Um, so of course where this seam is, or at, where this seam is at, where these leaks are, the seam and the sheeting is going to be halfway up, about right there, because they're all two feet off. So what I'm going to do is, when things dry out, I need to get up there and um, try and re-tape it, I guess. Or maybe that tape will stick down if it gets dry. The problem is we have rain for the next four days on and off, and getting up there now isn't going to do a whole heck of a lot. All this water is literally blown in from that storm. Um, during that storm, I was sitting in this doorway right there, hanging on to those two by fours, and it was just blowing through these windows, soaking me. I mean, the power of that storm was pretty crazy. And this is the side of the roof that I did. Um, it, it, it rained on me lightly when I was doing this side. This uh, north, or excuse me, the south side only had uh, what seemed to be like one drip, and that was down right over here somewhere in this area. And uh, I couldn't find any issues there at all. One weird thing is that this tape right here, I had uh, cut a piece on top and broke through that green membrane. So I initially just smeared some of that uh, uh, sealant on there. And then we had a rain, or I uh, noticed it was dripping, so I came up and put some tape over the top of it. And then I already rolled this back out. But actually now it's really flat. It was all bubbled up. I tried to peel it back there, and this stuff is so strong I couldn't even get it peeled back, but I noticed that it was just bubbles. Uh, I'm going to find a place that's still... Now the whole thing seems to have flattened back out since I rolled it. There's a little spot. It's like a bubble. What's weird about it is it's still stuck to it. I mean, it won't come up. You can peel. I tried to peel it there, too, and couldn't get it very far. But it's almost like there was some sort of reaction between the glue and this... Uh, uh, sealant um, There was a leak in this area somewhere, but I don't know how it would have gotten in I mean you can see these seams now granted this this should have overlapped that one But again, this was an after After the fact things so like this when it rain would overlap Which on that note is kind of silly because none of this is overlapped rain hits on this whole edge here But still that's just what you do So rain flows downhill that one overlaps this one would overlap that one and so forth. Um, but I can't find anywhere where I missed a nail hole, where this stuff isn't just, I mean, isn't just stuck down. I mean, I can rip it off, but, and granted we had, you know, 60 mile an hour winds or whatever, but I just don't know where, I don't know where it's leaking at. I just, it's, befuddles my mind so I don't know granted this tape was only on here for you know a day before that storm hit and it did have some water uh, it rained on it when I did a couple of these rows um, but that just doesn't I mean I was thinking I'd come up here and find the tape wasn't sticking but I'm not seeing any of that it looks like it's all stuck down just fine um, so I don't know, we got a lot of rain in the next two days. It's supposed to move in tonight. And we'll see if we uh, have more issues, but right now I'm confused. 
while I'm up here, I might as well just go ahead and roll all these again, just in case. Saturday night, and I was just choking a till, and I said... <laughs> this is what we do on this Saturdays. This is what we do, I know, it's just like, oh, we are in a cornfield on a Saturday night, picking corn to give our chickens. And we're talking about how enjoyable it is, because... That was graceful, That baby. was not graceful at all. <laughs> we'd, be much, we'd much rather be doing this. Wouldn't we? Yes. This is so much more enjoyable than a lot of things. You're making a lot of noise. <laughs> You're making a lot of noise. So the chickens always come out here and eat corn because our other side of those trees there is where the barn is. And um, so we figured we would just pick them some corn because we've lost four chickens in the last week yes. from something, we're not really sure what's getting them, but something's getting them. So we're gonna keep them, keep them in for a few days and watch them and um, Bring them some treats. Yes. So we're out well, here we need to find, picking treats. We have some deer cam cameras somewhere. Don't know where. We need to find those. We talked about maybe even putting. The, the problem is, it's trying to figure out what's getting them. Maybe if we put it in front of the door. <gasps> Are you helping? <laughs> what did I do? That's a good girl. Did you find one? You found one. <laughs> good girl. Maybe she ran off with your shoes. She may have. Yeah, my shoes are gone now. Good shoes. girl, Barley Bro. Oh, and we talked about that, huh? putting um, either the GoPro or uh, the webcam, not webcam, deer cam, um, in front of the chicken coop, the door, to see if maybe something peeks in there. So, yeah, lost four chickens this week. Getting lots of eggs, though, but still, not fun to lose the chickens. Oh, you're know, the rest for us Saturday night. Watch a movie. We're going to watch a movie with the girls. Yep. No, we're doing nothing. 